Please read this disclaimer carefully before proceeding further. Welcome everyone to the analysis of gold XAUUSD. My name is Vic. Thanks for joining me here. Um, it has been quite a while actually uh, because I've been on my vacation and um, but the gold market uh, is unstoppable, right? You know, it has been able to reach most of our targets and uh, we'll go through them. So in today's session, let's focus uh, in three parts. First, let's see what uh, we discussed last time what we predicted, what we analyzed, and um, how it actually turned out. So that will be the part one. Then we will go through the entire structure, the higher time from structure, to see what gold can be doing like in you know, coming weeks, months. And then we will look at like you know, shorter or smaller time frames to see what kind of opportunities can be available next week or in coming days, right? So let's start with the one uh, where we um, said, okay, this is we were expect, this is what we were expecting, and what have what actually happened so if you remember i gave uh, this particular structure uh, quite a while ago now um there, there are there are three views that we have been following because they um they are they are using slightly different versions of fcp strategy so what we have here is i expected market to decline when we when we were here and i gave a few levels so first was this fcp zone here this FCP zone is very, very important, was very important because this was a previous structure here. And also we had these trend lines, like there were two trend lines. So the market fell down into this, jumped back up, okay, and then started to fall back down. Now it went through this FCP zone because ultimately this was destined to fail. Remember, I gave you these arrows like you know these are the higher time frame targets that i will be looking at i am still looking at these so what market did it actually fell through this fcp zone ultimately reached this target here fell through that fcp zone reached this target now this one is far more important than the previous fcp zone why because there are previous support levels here and we'll talk about that in a second but when the market came here got pushed back up and it it went through this uh, trend line and it came where it came into this fcp zone here now this fcp zone is acting as a resistance and that is why the market is expected to fall in in our telegram group also i posted um, i think last week uh, that you know the it was reaching water curve as well people who use water and visage they were able to see that uh, market was reaching water and visage uh, water curve so uh, it was going to fall um, let me actually show you that as well so this is what i meant i said like you know the market was coming into water curve here and that is why it was expected to fall and it did so now it can still fall down because it is right there on fcp zone okay we'll talk about those scenarios in a second but you see the market is still if the market comes like you know back into this level of 1703 basically 1700 and if it breaks through that with strong momentum like this then it can continue to fall into 1573 or even lower than that 1568 or uh, 1523 as well why because when we will look at the high time frame structure you will notice that we are come we are creating an m pattern okay now i did mention that you know there is a strong raise support level here when you talk about these strong support level right beware that you know the market is creating liquidity a lot of people a lot of traders investors they have like an okay this this level has been like acting as strong support what it means that market is going to probably go below that to collect the stop losses collect the liquidity and in that process you will notice that we will probably have an m pattern of this sort which is going to push the price down okay that is why we were able to give this sort of analysis in advance that market could be heading into 1573 and if it pushes a little bit lower than 1568 and if it goes even lower than that then 1523 or so um, will be reached because of this m pattern so this is what actually happened here in this view now i posted this a few months ago when the market was approximately here around this level in august or something august or september something like that and the market is creating this m pattern right this is the one that we just saw so this is the m pattern which is getting created and this is where it is going to come to so overall 
higher time frame structure higher time frame analysis which is also available on trading view and other social media platforms because i posted there um you you can go back and check uh, what was the previous analysis um this is still working out perfectly nice and this is the fcp zone if this is broken then obviously we are looking for lower prices into 1500 15 um 1576 1586 uh, 1568 and 1523 those sort of levels will be expected okay so that's our second view uh, third view is i gave you this um you know the market was expected to fall right into this and this is where the market has come to okay let's go and uh, look at some of these um if i come to our telegram channel and just look back a little bit okay yeah so this is the one if i come here okay this is the one that i showed okay the market was going to go up and come back down and go to 1702 or so and this was posted on may 16th uh, people who actually ordered a bespoke uh, custom report uh, they were given intermediate levels as well and uh, other other things as well in in their report so they were uh, able to make huge profits on this now let's uh, look at uh, some of the other things so yeah this is the fcp zone remember we were talking about this so market came into this fcp zone went up and then fell through it and reached 1700 okay so gold previously you can go through this like you know channel yourself you can just simply come here and uh, click on um, click and uh, search for gold and you should be able to see so this is how it turned out market came into this fcp zone fcp zone acted as a support and the market pushed up and uh, this is how it is looking right now it got pushed up okay i also posted this um, on linkedin saying that you know um, gold was supposed to fall uh, this was posted on i think in june and dow jones was supposed to go up nasdaq was supposed to go up i posted that on linkedin because i could see on monthly time frame on gold that market could be falling and uh, that's why it has been falling uh, irrespective of news irrespective of data whatever irrespective of war it has been falling because higher time frame structures uh, tend to work now let's go to the second section which is basically um, analyzing the market on higher time frame so if i come here and uh, just hide this and go to the monthly time frame now what is happening here is you will notice that this is a w pattern market came here fell down reached the 38.2 fibonacci level and then market went up because it was supposed to go up from that uh, major fibonacci level it went up in that process created a w pattern when w pattern completes the market goes down and now where it is right now it is in the midpoint of an expected m pattern so what is happening here is that this is the sort of structure we have the market is standing right at the middle of it so if this thing breaks we are looking for downward move and this is the m pattern that we were just talking about okay so if watch this move that you know if this thing is broken then we are looking for very good short opportunities uh, on gold again now let's go to a three month time frame most of the traders they do not do multi time frame analysis and that is their problem um, now if you look at the three months time frame this is an engulfing candle a bearish engulfing and that is why the next three months were supposed to be bearish the market was supposed to create a bearish candle and that is why it has been falling if i go to the two months time frame okay same thing there is a very good pin bar on two months time frame followed by this now you know people who actually trade these candlestick patterns they know that this is a bearish setup and that is why the market has been falling okay so if i go to the monthly time frame now and monitor and just um, look at this this month is most probably going to be a bullish candle why because the market has reached this uh, previous structure level but if it starts to come down then it is going to break through it um we are still um like you know in the first week of the month so there is a possibility that it may try to just like you know go inside this week because this week is very huge so sometimes the candles actually try to cover the area inside the week as well so if i go to the weekly time frame on weekly time frame 
simply people who look at the different uh, structures uh, this is what you have so the market fell through like this impulse correction impulse correction impulse correction so it's clear downward momentum here right now and the market has come to the previous structure here so next week we are expecting a downward move because you see remember this was an fcp zone and it is also water curve here so this is what we can expect okay now last time also the market came into this and if you remember the previous analysis i mentioned that you know this was turning out to be a kind of head and shoulders Okay. and the turn line and the neckline is around here so the market has broken through that neckline and it has come back up tested that and if it starts to go down then it can be a huge fall into 1500s so this is what we have here so for the next week okay as i mentioned the market is already here in fcp zone which means that we can expect a downward move because it needs to show the reaction to this trend line this fcp zone and also to um, if I come to the daily time frame to this daily uh, water curve so if if you are using water and research if it turns red on water um, trend here and if you get a confirmation here then you can look for a short opportunity if the market somehow turns bullish because the market conditions can change anytime then what we can expect is that we already have we already have a bullish signal here but we do not have a blue color here on water trend which means that on weekly it is still kind of like in the middle of it um, if it turns blue at the bottom here or the water trend then you should be looking for bullish opportunities and in that case this can be your target like you now this white dot or the water curve can be your target right so you can go to your uh, water and research and then look for this target okay now let's go uh, to the chart once more and uh, see what kind of levels we can expect so if i go to the smaller time frame on smaller time frames all these levels are available to you so they are going to act as your support and resistance again uh, hence profit target so if the market starts to fall through it then the next level is going to be 50, 1755 1741 this particular area and if it this fcp zone is broken then the next level is going to be 1700 again now remember 1700 has been acting as very good support which means that market could be push can push back again up from 1700 so you should be careful if you're shorting then you should take profits here if the market breaks through the 1700 fcp zone now and we get a confirmation remember the last time we did not get a confirmation because the next candle was a bullish angle, so there was no confirmation here however if the market gets if market breaks through this and we get a confirmation then you can look for a short opportunity into 1662 and the next level is going to be 1600 next level is going to be 15673 and then 1568 and 1523 i'll update that later on if the market continues to go there on the on the bullish side of things if the market actually starts to go higher than this trend line which is available to you here right this can act as your resistance now we cannot actually have a proper price tag on this trend line why because the market can consolidate can go con in con into consolidation why Be because we have these two fcp zone and the price is in the middle of it so it is possible that market may consolidate here for a bit and if it breaks through it then this will be the price level if it breaks through here then that will be price level so all you have to do is just place this trend line and then uh, uh, like uh, use that as your profit target or resistance i'll post this chart in uh, the telegram group so you are welcome to join there it's free you will find the link to that in the description of this video okay if there are three gaps available here and there is an area which needs cleanup so sorry why does this happen okay so this area ultimately needs a bit of cleanup so at some point in time i'm expecting gold to come up at least here maybe like you no know, close these gaps and then fall down so on the bullish side of things this is also a possibility so if the market breaks through this fcp zone okay and you get a confirmation go long up to this trend line if the trend line is broken go long up to this like you know gap the next gap the next gap like this okay so this is what you can expect because these three gaps are still available and market will try to close them at some point in time but for now my bias is still bearish for now until i see like you know the break and the confirmation above that uh, but monitor these 
three lines and this particular area and that will be a case for bullish scenario okay now is there anything else that i can give you let me see okay so we have kind of like you know three dash pattern and okay why don't we just put a, an fcp uh, sorry uh, a fibonacci here so you have 38.2 a level available here so that can be a good one okay so that is also a target bullish target that you have so this is what we have on um, gold for this week i hope you enjoyed this analysis if you found this useful in any form if you learned something if you think like you know it's going to help you in your trading whatever right you know please do support this video please do support this analysis and share it with other traders and trading communities um like click the like button and uh, put in a comment if you have any questions put in the comments and i'll try my best to answer them and i'll see you in the next one have a great trading week thank you for watching find and follow us on these social media channels